the second half better. I thought we played our game in the second half. I thought we rebounded, we defended, held them to 25 points. I, I think the difference a little bit, uh, Natalie Chama getting the quick fouls, Jewel Lloyd uh, getting on the boards in the second half, but uh, to turn that rebounding deficit, uh, even though it was only plus one, just really, really pleased with the, the determination I thought we had coming out of the locker room. Skyler was uh, amazing running the show and, and attacking, didn't let their press slow us down. We kept the pace that we wanted. Six steals, eight assists, just a, a great floor game, I thought. And uh, Kayla McBride just made big shot after big shot. I mean, she was, uh, she was just huge at every turn. Every time we needed a basket, it seemed like she was the one that made it. And, uh, you know, I thought everybody gave us good minutes. Kayla Turner gave us good minutes. Markeisha Wright gave us great minutes. That bucket at the end of the half I thought was really important for us uh, for momentum. So really pleased with the second half. But, man, Syracuse is a great team. They are so athletic. They rebound. Kayla Alexander, phenomenal night. Uh, just an amazing performance uh, by Syracuse. I thought about it when, they, when we got down 15, for sure. I mean, I kept looking. Thinking, uh, you know, we got to do we got to do something to change the way things are going. And uh, but, you know, I thought if we could just get it under ten, we we would we would be okay. And we wouldn't need her. When, when they have that fourteen point lead, uh, what change that 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 you saw um, to trigger that run there? I think it was an eleven zero run. Yeah, we got some steals. Uh, you know, we Markeisha came in, got a couple steals. Um, we, we did a better job of being in our transition game because we didn't have to, uh, to have to face the press or, or the zone. We could really just go in an advantage break, and we're pretty good in that situation. Sky made some big shots. She had a couple threes during that run. Um, you know, we, we made some, some big shots, but I thought a lot of it was just off our defense. I mean, they had 26 turnovers, and uh, I think they had 13 in the first half. So we, we really, that was really what kept us in the game, and the fact that we didn't turn it over. I think we had three or four at halftime. So that was what saved us, and, uh, and that in the free throw line. How do you interpret this game like a great test for the postseason or scary that we could play so poorly in the <laughs> First half. I'm going to go with the former. Um, I think a great test with um, you know with the Big East tournament looming and so many good teams coming back, and then of course the NCAA tournament and you know finishing out the season. Just I thought a great test for us. We really haven't been tested since South Florida, so really good for us to maintain our composure late in the game. I thought once we got the lead, we handled it well. We took care of the ball. We did what we needed to do after that little spurt they had uh, with the press. So we can learn a lot from this game, and it's much easier to learn it after winning. How different is what they did, you know, squeezing the middle and not letting those quick passes get in, especially in the first half? You know, in terms of a scouting report on you guys, is, is that relatively from around the league? Is that something that they're trying or that that normally you're going to see week in and week out? Well, they're the only team that zones, really. I, that's that's about the first zone we've seen. We've seen a few matchups. We, we haven't seen a straight 2-3 zone. Um, really the, the entire Big East season. So we haven't played against it much. I think they knew what our plan was based on what we did last year. And and we, we were able to score in the short corner a little bit more uh, in the second half. I thought we had the looks. We missed the shots in the first half. But they did. They they uh, distorted their zone a little bit and, and made it a little bit tougher for us to get inside. Uh, and and uh, that's when Kayla, I thought, did a nice job flashing into the, the Big East area. Do you think the emotions of seeing that effect at all? Could be Absolutely. Part? Yeah, I thought we were all affected by it. You know, we couldn't make a shot. We uh, we just were, you know, just a little bit of emotion, a little bit trying too hard, a, a little bit of trying not to let it bother us. You know, I think, uh, yeah, I think it was tough in the beginning. And then we kind of went, what the heck's going on? And and everybody got a little jittery, you know, and then that's when Sky usually takes over and, and calms everybody down. Is this why you wanted to do it before? Yeah. yeah. I mean, was it part of the plan? That yes. You didn't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have next, enough going on that next night. Year will it be Next year, it's going to be in November. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about the job Chandra did in the second half, especially on um, Kayla Alexander? Yeah, Kayla was was really killing us, and we thought they were going to try to go inside. And I thought Marquisha did a nice job at the end of the half on her. And then when Ace came in, she was really able to to go one on one with her a little bit more. We didn't have to try to double down as much. She did a good job fronting. Uh, I thought I think she was four for twelve. Um, you know, made her first six and then went four for 12. So, you know, I thought we did a much better job when Ace was in the game. You talked about what it means to have Kayla knock down a shot like that in the second half, especially double digits, what she's been through all year with the knee, with the elbow. <clears throat> what that means for the team and you, too. 
Yeah, that it was huge to see Kayla Turner. Just having her on the floor, I thought was great. And then for Sky to find her on the three-point line in a in a situation where the basket was huge. I mean, going over to uh, to double digits, it was a big play. It was a huge shot, a great moment for her on senior night, and so happy that she's able to to make that shot. Can you talk a little bit about the prolific score that Kayla McBride has? Just the, you know, the accomplishment, the way she scored. I'll tell you. Um, I think she went over a thousand points. Um, congratulations! Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and it was amazing. I mean, we were trying to get her. We were, we went with a four guard lineup for a lot of the game because we wanted to get Kayla in that Big East area. And she's so good at the high post. She's got such a great shot. Um, she really roamed around the zone and found the gaps and did a, a great job. But there was a couple of times early in the second half I thought we just we had to have a basket, and she was there and uh, and she just did a great job with her jumper, uh, free throws. I mean everything. So it was a great game by her, career high. And it's kind of been a trademark of her. It really has. Right? Yeah. Those, yeah. Those tough shots. Absolutely. You know she we we love to have her with the ball um, in any of those situations. And she did a great job against the press. Sky got double teamed, threw it to Kayla, and she was able to, to lead the break and get a lot of shots that way too. So did a lot of great things today. Kayla, could you feel the emotions of the game? Did you feel early in the game? Did you feel like the team was tight or something was going on? Yeah, you definitely felt like a little uh, you know, kind of chip on our shoulder. We felt like we were playing for a lot. And um, I think that after they had their run, we kind of looked up and we were like, we just need to play our game. And when we came in the locker room at halftime, Sky really calmed us down, and she was like, you know, we we got to get some stops, three stops in a row, you know, stuff like that. And she really brought us together, and we went from there. I thought another great thing about the game was the crowd. I mean, the crowd won the game for us. They there were so many times when they stood up and cheered when we we needed a stop, we needed a score, and uh, boy, they didn't let us down. That was a, a huge a huge benefit for us today, having the crowd. Mm -hmm. Scott, can you talk about the emotion? Did you feel it early on? I mean, yeah, I think I was. You, how could you not, you know? It was crazy in there tonight. And, um, you know, we might have been pressing early a little bit, um, trying to get a good start. Um, <clears throat> but it was a physical game today. And, um, you know, once we got down, we were just trying to, I was just telling the team, look, stay calm. You know, they went on their run, I think it was 22 to seven. And I was like, we're gonna win this game. We're just gonna do it the hard way because we didn't have a good start. And, um, you know, when we came back and at halftime, I knew we were gonna win the game because we, we, we broke even. You know, we were down three, but I was like, it's 0-0 zero, zero now, and uh, we're going to have a better start. And, um, you know, that was probably poor game management on my part. I got to be more of a leader, so I tried to help help team out. And, um, you know, I thought we did a good job of stepping the defense up. Did you, uh, do you feel like you had to put the game when you were supposed to one point? Because uh, I think when you got the run, I think it was a 13-2 run, I believe you scored nine of those points. Yeah, I think I think my job is just to be a leader. I mean, whether, whatever we need to do to win, just, just trying to be, um, you know, trying to manage the game and um, you know in the second half I so I went to K Mac um, at halftime and I said it's all you baby because I was tired <laughs> <laughs> so I said it's, uh, it's all you baby you know we we put in this game you know you're gonna take us there and um, she did exactly that and Jewel I went to Jewel too I know she was kind of down about the first half and I was like you know what just have fun because I think a lot of times we, f we forget that she's a freshman and um, mm -hmm. But I thought the team did a good job, and obviously we're a different today. team without Natalie Chow. Mm -hmm. um, so when they came in, you know, we had our uh, everybody back. I thought we did better. Can you talk about what these last four years have been like for you playing for Notre Dame and playing in the Canadian South, and what it's been for you to play in front of the South Bend community and have all the support that you get? I think it's literally a dream come true. Just growing up around the university and so close to it, and having so many ties to the university, and uh, just being a fan first and. Um, getting to learn from the people that you used to look that you look up to, you still look up to, um, with Niel especially. And just being around these people is something special, and it's something that you don't forget. How special was it for you just to have that moment when you got to walk out on the court with your your two dads and have the flowers and give Coach a big hug? It's always special. It's something like I said, I'll never forget. And just the crowd was crazy. I, I feel like I met everybody in the crowd before. Um, <laughs> And uh, just to see the same familiar faces that you that I've seen since I've been at Washington, since I was at LaSalle playing middle school, you know, and just seeing the same people support me and getting to share this experience with my family and my friends, I think that's a big reason why I chose the university. And, you know, the people I'm up here today and my teammates, and I thought it was a good job through some adversity. And um, you talked about, you know, the struggle at the start, but then making that run. Was it kind of just your mind frame, I'm not going to lose my senior night? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> First senior in history to do that. No, we were um, not going to do that. That was, yeah, I was, I was going to, yeah.
that exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How, how's your back? And did you kind of have to get get out that second uh, half? The last yeah, I'm part good. Of the I just took half. a spill. You know, I'm a finesse player, so. <laughs> as emotional as tonight was, do you, how do you anticipate what your last last game is going to be like? Well, I mean, it's always crazy against that team, so mm -hmm. it's a it's going to be a wild one. But I'm excited <laughs> for it, and you know, it's kind of bittersweet. Um, Kind of bittersweet. You talk about Kayla's accomplishment, just yeah. how she scores her points. She's she's so smooth, and it's it's so easy for her. Um, when she shoots a shot, I don't care where she is. I think it's going in every time. And um, you know, she's picked her spots, and she's um, really learned where um, you know she can score, what her plays are, where she likes the ball. And she's becoming more vocal, and I think that's what's helping her. She's she's coming to me. You know, like Sky got you. You know, things like that. Us communicating more, and that's what's that's what's um, that's what's been going on. And she just has always been a scorer. We just had a lot of scores on our team, and I think now is her time to really step up into that role. And I think she's playing it perfectly. And Kayla, can you just comment on achieving this milestone in a victory like tonight, such a meaningful game, an important game? Yeah, I mean, I think it's cool, but I just. I don't know, it's just another thing to me. It's not anything. I'm, I want a national championship. And, you know, tomorrow I'm going to get back in the gym and I'm going to work twice as hard as I did yesterday. So that's, that's really all that is. Oh, oh, oh.